Hey everybody, welcome back to Trey's Models. Uh, this episode we're going to be doing the old Italeri kit, this and the uh, Fat Albert livery from the Blue Angels. Unfortunately I lost a lot of the build pictures from uh, when I was doing the actual build up of it. So we're going to start out basically after I had everything together and we've already put down the first coat of white. The big thing with this kit, uh, the plastic was super hard. I'm guessing that this was stored in a garage attic somewhere where it had a lot of heat cycles on it. Over time that caused the plastic to be brittle. That's just a theory. Um, I ran into this with another older kit. Um, I'm guessing that it's not unlike uh, a tire used to race. So we used to put um, tire warmers on the tires to keep them from going through so many heat cycles so they wouldn't get hard and, you know, be basically useless. Kind of wondering if that is the case here. If anybody knows anything about the chemical structure of plastic and if that's a viable theory, please feel free to chime in. Anyway, after struggling with getting the seams to stay together because the actual Tamiya thin cement was barely holding them together. I'd get the pieces glued in place, clamped, taped together, let the glue set up, move on, prime it, sand it, go to do something else, and the seams would pop apart. If I had to do it all over again, I would have put some splices of just some sheet styrene across the joints on the fuselage halves, get something more for the glue to hang on to. In the end, I wound up putting some flexible CA on it. That seemed to cure the problem. Primed it again, wet sanded everything down to 800. Then shot some testers white, let that cure off. Sprayed about two coats of some 2K clear on that. Thing with that is, I knew I was gonna have multiple layers on this and gloss. So I actually wound up, after that it cured, pulling the mask back off the windows because I didn't want that big layer to build up there. And I did that in between each succession of colors. It's a kind of a pain, but it keeps that big ridge from building up. And also, if you've ever done multiple layers across a mask, eventually it gets so thick where you can't really tell where the mask stops and the model starts. So it just helps in that. Well, after I had the white sprayed down, that was cured. I had to kind of scratch my head and think about how the sequence of the colors were going to go. Um, normally, I would probably paint in a different way, but because of the mask and the striping that had to be laid out a certain way, best thing I could figure to do after I did the white was to do the yellow, um, which is kind of counterproductive in a certain aspect because the way that everything laid out it was just going to be easier to go with the yellow and then try to do the blue later it was going to help in masking later on so that was just the way the sequence worked out and that seemed to be the best for me the big problem was up front where the scallops were up in front of the canopy windows um, getting those laid out even on both sides and on the right uh, for lack of a better word, waterline was rather difficult and rather than struggling around that I uh, used a compass cutter, cut the mask using some uh, large Tamiya tape and used those to mask off the yellow and then once I had the yellow down pulled the mask off, I used some blue fine line for the longer runs got that cleaned up and then actually put another coat of clear on top of the yellow to protect the yellow. With the white and the yellow sprayed, masked off, coated with some 2K clear, it was on to masking off and painting the Blue Angels blue. And this was another, uh, actually had some Model Master left over that was actually Blue Angels blue. Laid all that down, got the blue to cover, sealed that with another coat of 2K clear and again remasked the windows when everything was all pulled back apart and once that had cured out 
I pulled the mask off of everything and it was ready to do a clear coat over the entire model. Okay, so we got all three colors down. Everything looks pretty good. Wet sanded everything down again with 1000. Remasked the windows again. Then sprayed 2K clear, three coats. Thinned about 50% more than I normally would. Uh, the 2K clear is a two part clear to one part hardener clear. It's a high solids clear doesn't like to go through the airbrush unless you thin it at least 30 to 40 percent. I actually wanted to thin it out a little bit more to get a little bit more flow, a little bit more control. I can make more passes and build it up as I see necessary. So I actually went about a 70 percent reduction with thinner on this for the clear on this one. Waited about 30 minutes between coats. Let that set off, cure up, Everything looked pretty good. Wet sanded that back down to 1200 grit and then applied two more coats and again remaxing the windows again. When that was all said and done and polished it up, made sure there weren't any flaws, it was decal time. Unfortunately, the decals on this kit were very old, um, brittle, a little hard to work with. I actually had to cut out just some plain decal sheet and put it up underneath the back logo on the vertical. It was just not going to show up if I didn't do it that way. Um, a little added to the process, but it was worth doing it. Another issue I had was the yellow that runs along the side of the fuselage. There's a fine blue line that's supposed to go on the top of that. Um, decal was about my only option. I had no way of masking that thin enough and keeping it steady and the same width on that long of a run on this small of a scale. So full disclosure, that decal above that yellow line is a decal, it's not paint. So after the decals were laid out, checked everything over again, let those cure out another set of 2k clear application two more coats and after that cleared off after that cured off i wet sanded it with 1200 and then polished it out so that's the finish on the final so the clear everything buffed out looked pretty clean didn't have any big uh, blims on there thankfully so lucked out in that arena didn't have any bugs or dust land on it in a big way Still wet sanded and buffed everything out just to give it that nice, clean, super gloss finish. And finally on to the propellers. I based those with a gray that I tinted with just a tad of blue. Let that cure off. Masked that part off. Painted the black. Let that cure out. Came back. Painted the yellow tips. And these I wanted kind of a, I didn't want them to be super glossy, so I got some semi-gloss clear, uh, Mr. Clear, and came back and hit that. The black de-icing boots, um, took a little liberty with that and left them where they crept up a little bit on the leading edge of the blade. If you look at reference pictures of the real Fat Albert, um, they just sure cut right off of like the, where the band is thickest. They don't come down that leading edge as far, but I took a little artistic license and just did that. Okay, for the base, I went up to Hobby Lobby and got a pre-cut and pre-beveled, looks like a badge type wood base. Um, went online and found a decal with the Blue Angels logo and a actual plastic serving ladle and I cut a notch out in the wood base and then filed that out just enough where the ladle would sit in there cut the the uh, dipping spoon part of the ladle off 
obviously, and affix that to the base after I got the Blue Angels logo down, stained it, and then used some Minwax urethane. I probably coated that about 10 times, um, about two applications of the clear, let it sit, cure overnight, come back, two more coats, repeat, repeat until you get the desired thickness and let everything lay out nice. Wet sanded that down, buffed it, and the base was good to go. So that was basically the build. Um, we had every intention of putting some LED lights on this and doing the, the rocket assist and light it up and do the cotton thing. Um, we got all the, the LED lights to do that and wound up figuring out that the angle that it was sitting at and the way it was going to work out dimension wise it just wasn't going to work. So we 86 that idea and just went with the straight up as you see it. So that was it for the uh, Fat Albert build. Um, a lot of struggles to get through but in the end I think it came out pretty clean. Well, thanks for watching. Please hit that like button and subscribe. And I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Y'all be good to each other and we'll see you on the next one.